In its simplest form, we can describe public engagement as people, anyone, students, staff, researchers at the university, engaging, collaborating, inspiring people who aren't at the university. The best public engagement activity I've been involved in, I can't really choose just one, so I'm going to give two examples. The first is the Warwick Christmas Lectures, and this is an opportunity to fill the Butterworth Hall in the Warwick Arts Centre with over a thousand children and families and tell them about science and all the amazing things that we're doing and um, do some ridiculous experiments on stage. The other one that I have to choose is quite a new one and it's a new collaborative project and we're working with a group of musicians who have got disabilities and trying to develop new adaptive musical instruments for them using our current research skills and technology. Sounds great. It is. I think for me, my favourite is the engineering colouring wall, which uh, I did at Birmingham New Street Station a few years ago now. It's a two metre tall, 21 metre long depiction of lots of different engineering things and we welcomed people on a Saturday, people of all ages, to come and colour in and then talk to some of our engineers who were from industry and from university just to find out more things about engineering and how important it is to our lives. So that was absolutely my favourite event. I think everybody should get involved with public engagement when we work at universities because we live, in a, we live in a community, we live in a global society and we're trying to make things that will help improve the world, make things better for people. But it's no good making something that only works for one person or one community. And all too often we've seen technology that doesn't work, doesn't solve a problem for some people or causes certain demographics more problems than it solves. So working with the public, working with people around you helps broaden your mind as researchers, as academics. We all need those experiences to keep us in touch with that global society who we're trying to help. I think public engagement is really important for making that happen. I think it's really important that for us as a university, we have an impact in our local and global community. And the only way we can do that is by getting our students and our staff mobilised and taking action, sharing our knowledge, sharing our passion, putting on events, putting on activities and, and just getting involved. The worst thing would be for the university to just be sitting here and not engaging local people and not having that impact. It's so crucial. Public engagement is really critical in helping focus our research as staff and students uh, and working with the Institute of Engagement can really help us develop uh, public engagement that's really meaningful and not tokenistic and by doing that we'll really understand what we want to achieve from our research and really help focus our research questions to drive that maximum impact. I think Warwick staff and students should get involved with public engagement because above all it's really fun and rewarding and it allows you to bring your research to the people that you want to and know about the research, understand the research and hopefully put it into practice in different ways in their, in their own lives or their own organisations. I think it's also integral to quite a lot of what we do in terms of making sure that we have real purpose to what we're doing and we have meaning on the ground and that we're able to change behaviours, change understandings and perspectives um, and public engagement really helps us do that. Public engagement for me, it wasn't something that was really on my radar um, probably pre-12 months ago. Um, but I'm really passionate about sustainability and my current role is, is all around enterprise. So I saw an opportunity to bring my passion and my job together. Um, managed to get some funding through um, in, an internal funding source. So thank you the food, to the Food GRP for that. Um, and also to Warwick Institute of Engagement as well. So it's meant that I've been able to put on different programmes. So going out into local schools um, to engage school aged children with sustainability and enterprise but also during COP26 put lots of different events and activities on um, which was great and what I really loved about that was that I was able to to create eight job opportunities for our Warwick students to get engaged and again to get their their, their co-creation and, and support with these activities as well so that was fantastic. But I think on a, on a personal level and career level what it's, what it's actually enabled is I've, I've recently got a new position now which actually brings my, my passion and my experience together so it's going to be around climate change and innovation. 
I know that I would not have got that role if I hadn't have done all of this public engagement activity because I've been able to talk about um, all the different things that I've done, all the energy and, and enthusiasm and passion that I have kind of given to these different projects has definitely enabled me to, to further my career in a, in a path that I'm really passionate about. Doing public engagement has really enabled me to get that professional development experience, experience in sort of speaking to the public, one-on-one -on -one discussions with collaborators in industry, really explaining why we do the work we do and why it matters and why I should be doing that research for the university and the wider public too. I think dealing with public engagement does make you a better teacher because the central thing of public engagement is a sort of symbiosis between the researcher, the teacher, you yourself and your information and the public. And it's the, the meeting of the two that's very important. Tailoring what you've, what you've researched, what it is that you want to get across to the public, um, to suit that public, to know what that public is after. And you know, the meeting of these two things and forming a sort of a new whole is very, very important. And this is what teaching is all about. Teaching, you have your information, but you have students and you have to find a way of interesting them in that information. It's the same process. It's the same sort of symbiotic relationship, creating a new thing out of what you want to give to the students and what they themselves want. The Warwick Institute of Engagement is a group of people from across the university who all think that public engagement is an important and fun thing to do. And the sorts of things that we can offer, we've got a lot of training through our online skills festival and for, through in-person events. You can have training in things like how to do podcasts, how to deal with social media, presentation skills, but also things like how to evaluate the work that you're doing in public engagement and a little bit of support with proposals that you might be writing that have a public engagement element. In terms of, of recognising what you're doing, we've got the Warwick Award for Public and Community Engagement and we also now have a collaboration fund which gives small amounts of funding to start some collaboration with community groups. We also have an extensive events programme. So taking some of the burden off you for the kind of public engagement that you might want to do. We've got events running on campus, in the local area or online that you can come and get involved in, bring your subject knowledge, bring your passion, and you can find out all about that on the Warwick Institute of Engagement website where you'll have access to the Skills Festival, so all the training materials and loads of information about how you can apply to get involved. Mm -hmm.